Hi. First of all, I want to thank you all New European Bauhaus participants for this opportunity. The demo I will show you is a proposal to create and evaluate digital content for cultural dissemination within the scope of architecture and history of science. The idea is to use cutting-edge mixed reality technologies to promote universal and democratic access to culture and citizenship. Accordingly, point cloud surveys will be done accurately matched with the help of artificial intelligence. Furthermore, 3D elements will be programmed in order to provide useful Heritage BIM database. I hope that watching the following demo will give you a fuller picture of my research proposal. And please feel free to watch the 3D 360 version using this QR code here. Thank you. The Santa Cruz Monastery in Coimbra, founded in 1131, was one of the Portugal's main religious houses. It underwent important late Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque reforms before the religious orders were suppressed in 1834. Today, the former scale and richness of the monastic complex is difficult to grasp, as important architectonic and structures have been destroyed. This was the main reason why we decided to establish a research project combining architecture and history of art with new technologies related to virtual and augmented reality, and also mixed reality. One of the project's main tasks is the creation of a 3D model of the monastery in the year of 1834, which will serve as reference to all other activities. At the same time, 3D digital recreations of architectural and sculptural components are being produced to enhance the experience of visitors to the remaining monastic structures, with photorealistic elements and other data, providing visual, acoustic and even tactile immersion into the past reality. One example of this is the insertion of the sculptural terracotta ensemble of the Last Supper by the French artist Odart today in the Machado de Castro National Museum in its original setting, at the eastern end of the still remaining monastic refectory. We have asset a touring test for virtual reality using 3D Oculus Go or current smartphones, were able to react to 3D digital versions of the human scale sculptures of the Last Supper, which were abruptly inserted into architectural spaces unrelated either to the museum or the Santa Cruz Monastery. These creative technologies provide an interactive experience in contexts where the elements of reality are nurtured with digital information in order to emphasize certain aspects of past reality. The photographic captures of environments and models based on laser scans are creatively fused to produce high-fidelity sensory immersions. This connection between intrinsic and extrinsic elements of the virtual and real worlds enables computer systems to help us observe and communicate in diverse contexts. This was the case of the workshop held at the Department of Informatics Engineering in Coimbra, or of another workshop developed at the Hall of the Faculty of Architecture in Aalborg in Denmark. As mentioned, in the several studies done so far, the intention was to create distinct contexts into a mixed reality environment where the fusion of digital and analog elements can be sustained through visual, auditory and sensory outcomes. Versions of these architectural elements, some that still exist, others that have disappeared, were recently tested in other workshops where they were inserted in the most diverse contexts, such as Alvaro faculty of architecture building 
at the whole. The virtual reconstructions of the lost architectural heritage we are producing can be perceived through virtual and augmented reality platforms and devices. These contents will be available in a prototype state for visitors of the studied site. However, given the technological state of the art of the dissemination platforms and devices, our prospect is a more immediate diffusion of the produced contents using smartphones and VR headsets adapted. This almost universally adapted technology will allow visitors to download and view on the site virtual content related to the missing heritage combined with the subsisting architectural and cultural elements. Well, to conclude, we might say that by its immersive nature, mixed reality contents are able to reach a wide spectrum of users, inspiring world citizens to interact with the world's architecture and cultural heritage. Thank you for your attention and please feel free to ask any question.